Tesla has finally fixed my Falcon wing door. Welcome back to the Cobra Pit, whether you're a longtime viewer or a newer subscriber like Cedric Cherry, I see you. I appreciate every single one of you. You could be anywhere in the world, but you're here with me. First of all, if you've seen any of my videos about how Tesla could not fix my Falcon wing door, I'm happy to say they finally got it done. It took a lot of going back and forth, conversations with corporate, but we got it done. The reason this is a big deal because the Falcon wing doors are one of Tesla's most iconic features. I mean, of all Teslas. Number one, it looks amazing. And secondly, probably most importantly, they're extremely functional. Now we'll compare it to Tesla's 2015 launch demo where they had a car very close to it and opened it up. We'll see how that works in the real world. But first, let's talk about why these doors are such an amazing feature. Okay, so I have kids and I don't know about you, but whenever my kids get in and out of the car, I have to constantly remind them not to bang the neighboring cars. With these Falcon wing doors, I don't have to worry about that. I just have to make sure that the kids are aware that I'm gonna open them and they come up and they can easily slide in and out of the car without even touching the door. I can do it from the fob and they can do it as well. Now I might be handicapping them where they won't have this skill later down the line, how to open doors carefully, but you know what? I'm willing to take that risk right now, at least while they're young. The Falcon wing doors has, I would call it semi-smart sensors. They have sensors that will allow it to stop at a certain height if something's above it, like in a garage. There's also side sensors for maybe people walking by or objects right next to it. The sensors do lag a little bit when the door is in motion. It takes a second to realize that something is there, but typically it doesn't hit anything. I've been hit once or twice because I was impatient and either walking to get in my car or out of my car when my kids already hit the closed door button. Now there is a small chime that lets you know it's coming down, but a lot of times there's things going on and it's pretty low. So you gotta pay attention. One of the biggest questions that come up is how does it deal with rain? Well, it protects you from the elements. Well, in most situations. I've been in rain and I've been in snow and it actually kind of feels like an umbrella. It opens up, it shields you from anything coming from above your head. Now, if there's strong winds, there's no protecting it. Rain's gonna get in, snow's gonna get in, and that's the case with any car, I would think. If the wind is strong enough and it's coming parallel with the ground, it'll get in. So in regular rain and snowy conditions, it'll be fine. The interior stays dry for the most part. You stay dry for the most part. It hasn't been an issue at all. Another way the Falcon wing doors can be great is if you have a third row. If you have a six seater or seven seater like I do, you can easily access the back row, whether it be for your elder family members or your younger kids to go all the way to the back, or even you, I fit back there pretty comfortably. You can even stand completely up in the car under the Falcon wing door. That's how high it is. I'm six feet tall and I had no issue standing up. So imagine trying to put kids in a car or help your aunt in the back seat, right? No issues at all. It's a wonderful feature, so accessible, and I love having it. So the next big one and probably the biggest feature is the proximity to other vehicles. Now in the demo, they discussed how it's better than a minivan door because the minivan door slides open, but it still takes up some space. The Falcon wing door is double hinged. So in regular parking lots, when cars are parked a little too close to me, I haven't had any issues opening the doors and letting the kids in. But I wanted to see how close to another vehicle could the car be for the door to open carefully. Now I did it at 17 inches, I measured it, and the Falcon wing door opened. Now it didn't open all the way. I've seen this happen in a parking lot next to SUVs. And I thought that maybe have something to do with the height of the vehicle next to it. But it also did it next to my Model 3. It opened partially. If you're in the car, you can open it fully. 
And you can also set this at, you know, certain locations. Let's say you're in your garage and you know where you park is gonna be clear. You can enable always fully open at this location. But I noticed when cars are very close, now I did it at 17 inches and I also measured it at 13 inches. And the Falcon wing door opened up and it stopped high enough for people to get in and out. You do have to duck, but you can fully open it. And if you fully open it from inside the cabin, it will open no problem still. So maybe this is a safety mechanism, something they put in the later models. I don't know if the 2015 models automatically went all the way up or the sensors were different or what has changed, but it's not a nuisance, but it will not open all the way. At least in my vehicle, it wouldn't. And you know what? I'm okay with having that extra safety feature where it won't open all the way, just to be sure that it can check with you and you say, you know what? It's okay to open here. I'm okay with that. Better than it banging the car door. So not exactly the same as the demo model, but good enough, it opens enough for you to get in. So I think that's a win-win. So once again, the Falcon wing doors aren't just aesthetically pleasing. They do grab lots of attention, but they're very, very, very functional. Hey, thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. And don't forget, Cobra told you. All right, y'all.